In this video, we're going to talk about um, how to solve the worksheet that's called a circuit worksheet. So you're going to begin in this first cell, mark number one. I notice the instructions are wrong. You're going to find um, the uh, you're going to find the function composition. You're going to find the value that it's asked for. So basically, you're going to evaluate. Okay, each problem. That's each. Evaluate each. Okay. Um, to advance the circuit, search for the year your answer and mark that and mark that cell number two. Continue in this manner until you complete the circuit. Show all pertinent work. Use the graphs to help you answer your questions. So I've got these graphs. Notice this one is the F graph, this one's the G graph, and this one is the H graph. So the first problem is asking me to find F of negative one half. Remember, this is an input. This is the X value because there's no little negative one on it. So I'm going to go to my F graph and I'm going to find the X value of negative one half. So I'm looking at the X value of negative one half and I'm looking for a solid dotted line. And you'll notice that that's happening at seven. So I say that that's seven. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look for that answer seven somewhere where it says answer. So I'm going to go find seven. There it is right there. So this is problem number two. Now I'm going to find G of negative five. So I'm going to go to my G graph. There's my G graph and I'm going to find, was it five or negative five? I forgot. Negative five. Okay. So G of negative five and I'm going to look for the solid dot or the solid line and it looks like it is negative four. And then I'm going to keep going. Now I'm going to go to my worksheet and I'm going to, I'm going to go to my answer box and I'm going to look for negative four for my answer. So this problem would be number three and you're going to keep going in that manner. What happens is it kind of gets a little, it gets more complicated as you do the work. So you're going to be practicing, hopefully the graphing for the F of G of X, the G of F of X, and then their inverses as well.